Hello everyone, so following on from last week's video of the first Penny Arcade at Bygone Times, today we are going to be taking a look at the second one, which has a lot more machines than the first one. Um, as I've mentioned in the first video that some of these used to be at Botany Bay in Chorley, um, but unfortunately Botany Bay shut down and a lot of the machines got removed and moved here. So, um, so yeah, I'm not going to do much commentary because there is a lot of people around. So as I mentioned in my first video, I didn't really do very well because I was a bit nervous. But uh, I just thought I'd show you what machines we have in here. Um, some of them take one tokens, but others take um, the one currency. So, so starting out here, we've got a few machines. We've got this spiritualist room working model, which has obviously been updated to operate on 50p now. Um, this one's not working today. I was a bit gutted because this is a machine I've wanted to be filming again. So this is the Parrot, Glen Parrot um, vending machine made by Glendale in the 1980s. Sorry, I got that wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not working today. Um, over here, we've got a um, another um, novelty vending machine I don't know much about. Uh, we've got a clown with a guitar one here. And we've got a haunted house made by Crafts. And we've got, and we've got another, another novelty vending machine here. So now let's move inside the Penny Arcade. So I've got a lot of machines in here. Um, I do know most of them. Uh, so we've got a lovely Pal and Puppet display here, which is called Accidents in the Home. Um, this is sadly not working anymore, but this is a vintage fairground, which is on display. I've got a change machine here, and then this used to be called the Black and White Minstrels, but they've changed it to the New Orleans Dix Dixieland Jazz, and it does work now. I remember it being at Botany Bay years ago. Uh, we've got another display only of what the butler saw, display only here. We've got a stadium game here. I think it's a hockey game, I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it's a hockey game. And then over here, what we've got one of my favourite machines in the collection, the Laughing Sailor, which is a original. Obviously, the sound's been updated, so it doesn't sound as accurate as most of them, but it's cool. We've got a Punch and Judy machine here, which is one of a kind. And inside there, you can see actually real Punch and Judy puppets made by Supreme Magic Co. Um, we've got a Honky Tonk piano thing here. This is not really one I want to film because it's not, it's a bit boring, so it just plays music. Now we've got another um, novelty grab to grab machine. Sorry, there's a, a track mode going off for one of the machines. But yeah, this is another um, Cray machine here. Um, I don't think I filmed this one yet, but I still need to film it at some point. We've got a Wonder Woman Mortoscope here. A Yeti look through. I think it's a peak peaky machine. I'm not sure. Uh, we got a tip the tip the skittle thing here machine. We got another novelty prize machine. We got a few here. We got a rocket one. We got a chicken one. We got another what the butler saw thing here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna film it because it's a bit inappropriate for the kids. We got shoot them bones. Uh, get another novelty gift machine here. Uh, we've got an x-ray machine, working model. Um, we've got a Pan Amusements um, dancing puppet clown puppet game. And this is not an original, but this is a 1980s reproduction laughing policeman. Um, you can tell by the thing, it's not an original insole, but it does work. Then we've got a free what is it, a two-headed cockerel machine. We have to peek through here and there's like a um, uh, two-headed cockerel. <laughs> and then we've got a lovely Pinky and Perky puppet machine here featuring two original Pell and Puppet um, Pinky and Perkies. And then last but not means least, we've got a Crompton's Cave of Horrors. Um, made in the 1970s. Oh, we've got a few here. We've got this stereo coin as well. And then over here, 
Let's walk around here. It's a bit quiet today. And then we've got a 1960s um, Super Challenger uh, where you put the coin in here and then sometimes you win something. So a free extra coin. So yeah, um, I have met the owner who um, owns all these machines um, last time when he was just setting it up years ago. Um, he's a lovely guy. Um, he has all sorts of um, old penny arcade machines, you know. Um, so yeah, um, thank you all for watching this video. Um, please feel free to subscribe for more vintage amusement videos and hopefully by if I ever visit another place that have vintage amusement machines we will have some new videos so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video bye